Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a, another deck profile today of a deck that I think is really, really fun to use. Uh, I love using this deck uh, because it's really, really fun for, for whatever reason. Um, it's really good in casual games. It can win tournaments, but it has trouble against certain decks, which I'll talk about uh, later. But uh, the basis behind this deck is it's pretty much a blue Goku uh, toolbox Dragon Ball deck. And uh, as I go through the profile, you'll understand why it's called a toolbox deck. But as you can see, it's a blue tag team Goku. Um, I'm running that level 2 because if I get dug up to level 2 or somehow advanced to level 2, I want to drop back to level 1 because I need to send a level 1 pretty much for the whole game. So that's why I run that level 2. And now we'll talk about the defense of the deck. Now, as you can see, I don't run much physical defense. And if that's because I run a lot of allies, so it's over the stages. But even so, uh, through Blue Narrow Escape for energy block, you know, kind of a staple. It has huge endurance. you got to run that. Uh, blue Flight in a tag team deck. You get to banish allies you don't want to get other allies. You can tutor a Kami back. You can tutor a Chi-Chi back. You can do whatever you want with that card. It's really, really good um, in this deck type. Blue Shifting Maneuver. Uh, I would say probably a staple in this deck. Omni Block has endurance, perfect for this build. Um, can help stop a, a crucial Sinister Choke if it's going to hit me or who knows. But it's really good. And of course, time and blue farewell uh, to stop all attacks and stall the game out to a uh, ball out. Um, some of my tech cards plus attacks uh, blue fear to capture. Uh, Dragon Balls back or maybe kill their allies. It depends on the game state. Uh, if I need to capture Dragon Balls, it's one of my Dragon Ball captures. Um, what's really cool is um, I can bounce Kami to my hand with Goku level 1 and then use this just to discard, discard the Kami from my hand to draw a card and then I can use an overpowering attack to get it back. Um, but my attacks, um, Blue Terror, Staple. Uh, three confrontation, you know, utility, three spheres. You got to run these. I mean, it stalls off the game, uh, prevents your opponent from doing anything crazy to you. Three wall breaker. I run this because Eric told me to. <laughs> um, no, it's really good against the Mechian and Red. You want to keep them at low level so they don't do anything crazy with you. Even against Sand, you don't want them to get to the high levels. So that's the only option I had. I mean, I would love to run uh, Blue Head Knock instead for the endurance, but wall breakers. Put in a lot of work, it's really good in this deck. Blue Betrayal to banish my opponent's stuff that I don't like. You, you kind of have to run that, unfortunately. Three Overpowering Attack to get allies back out. It's a good attack, why not? Three Optic Blasts. Uh, this is a Dragon Ball deck, so I needed to maximize the amount of captures that I have against a Namekian deck, against a Mirror Match, against whatever I need. Um, that's the same reason I run Sinister Choke. So basically, my Dragon Ball captures are for a you know, attack utility cards is this, this, and this. Uh, Synergy Token is really good because I'm not going to be entering combat much. Um, if my opponent plays more Dragon Balls than me at some point, uh, Synergy Choke is an automatic capture against almost every deck. That's why I run it. Optic Blast is Endurance. Um, so I have to, you know, maximize, run three of each of these. Seven Dragon Balls. Got to run it. Very shiny. All seven. That's the basis of the deck. Well, my Dragon Ball victory. Again, back to Dragon Ball Captures. Amongst the nine cards I already run to capture Dragon Balls, I run 12 right here, three blue trick. Uh, you have to run this in this deck. It has Endurance, captures Dragon Balls. Um, has won me a lot of games, you can keep getting it back um, with Ball 7 and things like that. Really, really good. Visiting the past, staple. Don't need to go any further with that. Dragon Radar is a staple for obvious reasons. Heroic Plan, gets a tutor whatever I want pretty much depending on the context of the game. So again, that I would consider a staple as well. Um, info gathering, staple, because if you're gonna win by Dragon Ball Victory, you have to run this just in case uh, things go sour. And blue battle readiness, I've seen a lot of tag team decks run um, two or three of these. Now I was running two or three at one point, but it's too cloggy, it's unnecessary. Um, I, I think one is a perfect number for this deck, because uh, I have multiple ways to get other allies out in other ways and things like that. So. Blue Body Readiness is, is good, but it's not a three of worthy. Right? It, it, one is done perfectly fine for me. And the allies are on eight. And this is where the toolbox part comes in. Um, let me explain my choices behind these allies. Vegeta, I shouldn't have to explain because it's, it's broken. Um, him with Goku is just 
obvious synergy. You have to run it. It's an omni block, and you can keep bouncing them back and reusing them. Chi Chi's obvious, stops the physical. It's my main uh, physical tech against Red Ruthless and things like that. At the beginning of the game, you get Chi Chi out against a Red Ruthless deck. Um, depending, if it's a 17 deck, you, you're gonna get something else, but uh, Chi Chi's helped a lot. Kami, basis of the deck, you know, keep bouncing him back with Goku. Uh, these three you have to run. And the rest of this is just tech. So for example, Bulma, uh, of course, shuts off things I don't like. Yajirobe, uh, I get him out against either sometimes Mirror Match or definitely Blue Piccolo. Anything that runs dominance, like Blue Frieza, you get this out and they can't dominance. You try to lock them out with that, okay? And if they banish Yajirobe with Blue Betrayal or whatever they use, Orange Stare Down, you can uh, use the Master to get him back and then hopefully tutor him back in some way with something else. Master Roshi, I would say, is a staple in this deck. You have to run him against 17. I'd play him first against a 17 deck, like a 17 Ruthless, because 17 can't switch out the van um, if Master Roshi's out. Against Blue Ginyu tag team, you get Roshi out, but he can't search. And he helps a lot. He helps a lot against Android 20. He, Android 20 can't search. Shuts off a lot of things. Krillin against Android 20 and Black Decks gets rid of their smoothness drills, get rid of, gets rid of all their drills. What the heck? And Oolong. Uh, I know, kind of crazy for writing this, but against the Mechian, the Mechian can't reuse their Dragon Balls, can't, too, you know, uh, dink around with their balls, giggity. Um, so that's why I run it. And he's really good. So this is the deck. Very shiny. Um, has a lot of combos, very fun to use, and uh, let me know what you think. And yes, this deck is 100% foiled, except for the non-foil blue terror, which is, you know, come on, so rare that I might as well run it. So, very sexy deck, but it loses the Black Krillin, and it loses the, it has trouble against Black. Black just has a lot of tech against this deck. Black Krillin smashes this deck because of the infinite criticals that is level one and destructive disc. That's why I can't feel comfortable anymore running this in, a, in any ARG event, any regional. Uh, because black just runs through it. So if you have any suggestions on how to get a, a, around black curlin, uh, let me know. Otherwise, uh, enjoy this deck. It's very, very fun to use. And let me know what you think.